everyone and welcome back to part 2 of the modern house tutorial. In today's video we are going to continue with the tutorial but this is just a voiceover intro because the video has been recorded. We are continuing part 2, the video was recorded without an out intro so this is just a voiceover for the intro but anyways guys enjoy the second part of the modern house. Okay, so now on this side, we are going to make uh, this wall. So we're gonna rise it up four on each side. So this is four. We're gonna go up until the very end. And then in this last block, we're gonna continue this shape all the way up until this corner over here. And then we're also going to add a total of four blocks even on this side. And then we have a four by four gap here in the middle, which we are going to place black stained glass paint so we can have another window here. Uh, on the side of the house after that we are going to go in three blocks just like this and uh, we are now gonna place black stained glass panes and gray stained glass panes first right here and uh, then we're gonna continue with black stained glass panes all the way up until the end this is going to be five blocks high of gray and black stained glass panes so this is going to be another door uh, slash a window or up, up in the back of the house so we're gonna go five high then we're gonna raise these gray concrete wall five high as well just like this so that's a total of five blocks this is seven and the window is also seven then we're gonna leave five blocks open right here because we are gonna have a small little area over here which is gonna be wide open which we are going to do a tree over here but anyways, let's continue on this side and let's rise up these walls uh, five blocks high once again, the spruce walls. And then on this side, we are also going to rise this five high as well. But over here, on this block right here, as you can see, we place one block right here. And uh, we continue with a window on the second block from the spruce plank. So one smooth stone and then we leave three blocks right here for the window and then add another three over here so after that we are going to continue with uh, smooth coarse blocks and we're gonna continue with uh, smooth coarse blocks on this block right here or on this one and we are going to go out for uh, I believe two blocks yes we are going to go out for two blocks and uh, we are also going to extend on this side all the way to the end over there at the spruce uh, plate as uh, the spruce uh, blocks so that means that we are going to go i believe yes so we are going to go another block up until right here so we can connect uh, the spruce wall that we have over here with this uh, porous block just like this so now we are going to have this entire outline which we're gonna fill up right here with smooth quartz blocks just like this and uh, after we fill up this whole entire area which is going to be the floor uh, for the second floor and also the roof of the uh, outside porch area that we have down here or this is not really a porch area but anyways you guys uh, will get it I believe after that we're gonna place a small little uh, balcony doorway and also window right here so this is going to be uh, high as you can see uh, four blocks high the window is going to be four blocks high we're gonna place two black glass panes right here uh, and then on the third one we're gonna place gray stained glass panes and this is going to be the outliner of the window and the door the door is going to be right here is going to be five high and then after we place the door we are gonna add some of uh, this smooth stone blocks or we could add smooth quartz whatever you guys prefer I will add quartz for now and I will also give this small balcony a little railing using black stained glass paint after that we are gonna continue this shape and we're gonna close off this whole entire area just like this with smooth cords so we're not gonna have any windows or anything on this wall we're gonna leave it a simple plain wall on this side just like this let's not throw that um, now we're gonna use this smooth cords block 
and we're gonna go all the way until, up until the other side so we're gonna continue placing small course blocks up until this corner right here so now we have this whole outline that we can uh, work with and place some windows and walls up here so first of all we're gonna continue with three blocks just like this of smooth course blocks so as you can see we have uh, three smooth course blocks like this and then we're gonna continue with uh, black stained glass pane and we're gonna place a window right here then we are going to place um, uh, spruce planks and we're gonna continue for let's say one two three four five six seven blocks or we will go eight blocks and uh, then we'll fill up this whole entire area and then we're gonna go uh, on this side and we're gonna place a four block wide window using black stained glass paints so that's one two three four we're gonna rise up the window all the way to the top we're gonna add another three blocks or another three rows of uh, spruce planks and then we're gonna add another window right here in the middle which is going to be uh, four blocks high and five blocks wide just like this so we're using black stained glass panes for the windows if you guys have not noticed that yet but uh, anyways we got this small little shape going right here now if you want to you can uh, do this which uh, I guess is just a little small porch area here for the exterior uh, if you guys want to do exterior of course uh, if you don't guys don't want to then just skip this part but anyways we're just doing a small little porch area right here for the uh, back of the house oh this is not really the back this is just the side we're just uh, digging up that grass and dirt and we're placing a smooth stone uh, platform as you can see it's kind of like a concrete uh, platform but anyways it's just a very simple platform over here so we can have something to work with now let's do this indoor window or indoor uh, tree that we were going to do so we're gonna grab gray concrete and we're gonna go four blocks in and then on these two we're gonna place gray concrete just like this and on this side we're gonna go for spruce blocks in and then we're also gonna place spruce planks on this side then we're gonna connect these two walls up using spruce planks and we're not gonna outline any windows on this side we are just gonna fill up this whole entire wall area and uh, now we're gonna add some black stained glass panes over here to outline the windows and even on this side of course and uh, after that we're gonna grab smooth coarse blocks and uh, we're gonna close off this whole entire area so now when we look from outside we have this small little area which uh, you guys could do whatever you want with it uh, I built a tree uh, let's see over here as you guys can see I built a very small tree over here I also added some lights up here so we can uh, shine some lights onto that uh, place right there we will be adding some details at the very end we also might build this tree as well but for now let's continue on this side of the house okay so what we are going to do on this side of the house it's going to be very simple first of all let's extend uh, this smooth course block all the way up until there so this whole entire area will be filled with uh, smooth course blocks and uh, you could use slabs as well if you want to have some more space on the interior but uh, since i'm not doing any interior designs i'm gonna use uh, full blocks but if you guys will be doing any interior designs then you can use slabs uh, smooth core slabs and uh, you guys will have some more space on the inside and uh, the roof will look a little bit better so this whole entire area that we are placing blocks for this whole entire area is going to be for another massive balcony uh, for the back of the house you guys could do uh, for example a pool in the balcony if you guys will really want to or a little sitting area since i did nothing even in the interior even on the exterior you guys could do a sitting area right here and a pool right here if you want to okay that's your just that's just your choice uh, but anyways let's continue building so first of all after we place this platform we're gonna continue placing uh, this outline of smooth course all the way up until the other wall here so we're gonna connect these two walls up just like this 
after that we are going to place uh, three gray or three smooth coarse blocks uh, out of this one out of this block so this is going to be the railing in fact let's place the railing immediately right now so we're gonna place the railing uh, outside over here to outline the balcony on this side as you can see this is the balcony now we have railing all over it now we're gonna go three blocks in from the railing or a total of six smooth quartz blocks from the end of the wall up until this and we're gonna place a little window right here which we're gonna use glass panes to make a two block wide open or two block uh, wide window then we're gonna grab three spruce planks and we're gonna have a small little wooden wall right here then we're gonna grab gray stained glass panes and we're gonna place a row right here and then two rows of black stained glass panes on this side so this is going to be technically a doorway and a window uh, to the balcony air area after that we place a row of smooth cores we leave one wide open and we also fill up this whole entire wall with smooth cores blocks and uh, that open area we are going to do another window right here using black stained glass paint so now we have this small little shape going over here then we're gonna continue the smooth or the spruce slabs for four blocks just like this and uh, we are now going to outline it with dark oak slabs so we're gonna go with dark oak slabs as you guys can see it's five blocks wide four for spruce and one for dark oak we're gonna continue this dark oak slab up until this very last block right here at the window which we have right here so it kind of it kind of looks bad over here but uh you guys will not notice that or others will not notice that if they will look at your house because it's a very small detail which uh will not be noticed and uh, anyways after that you fill up this whole entire area using spruce planks uh, so we can have a little area over here to cover up the small balcony area which we have over there after that now we're gonna continue on this side where we're gonna fill up this whole entire area using gray concrete as you guys know this is also another massive balcony area which you guys could use to do anything you guys want for the moment right now we have we don't have an entrance to this balcony area you guys could have an entrance to it through the interior or you guys can make a secondary entrance right here for example you can make a little staircase uh, over here and you can have a small little entrance to this house as you can see it's a very simple detail and uh, you can have uh, the entrance to I mean not the house the balcony or the secondary balcony that we have right here uh, anyways you guys can place any blocks that you want I'm just placing gray concrete blocks because uh, that's what we used for the walls and the pillars that we outlined so now we have this whole platform just like we have it over there and uh, we also have this one over here so as I, got, as I said you can do the interior or uh, in the interior you can build a staircase that goes out to this balcony or you can have a staircase right, staircase right there uh, to go out uh, to from this balcony to this one move on to the roof so what we're gonna do for the roof is going to be very very simple we are going to have a flat roof on this house using smooth quartz blocks and uh, we're gonna place smooth quartz blocks all around the house and uh, we are also going to add a gray carpet to outline the roof of the house but we will be adding that later first of all let's uh, fill up this whole entire area using smooth quartz blocks you guys can use smooth uh, can use uh, smooth uh, slabs or smooth quartz slabs use slabs at the top or at the bottom I'm when I'm saying top or bottom I mean these two uh, these two positions but uh, anyways I'm gonna use smooth quartz blocks because uh, as I said I'm not doing any interior design so there is no need for me to use any uh, slabs of any kind 
so I'm just gonna use uh, blocks because you can build easier with blocks. So after we filled up this whole entire uh, roof with smooth quartz, we're now gonna outline the roof using gray carpet blocks. And what I mean by a gray carpet, uh, gray wool carpet, and uh, what I mean by outlining is adding a line of gray carpet all around the outside of the roof. You know, also add gray carpet if you want on the wood. I am not going to add any gray carpet on the wood because I don't think it's necessary but you guys could do it if you really want to so the reason why I want to add this gray carpet is just so uh, I can uh, add a little bit of uh, color to the roof and also as you guys can see this very small little outline that we have right here I feel like that makes the house look a little bit better even though it's a very small detail it looks very good in my opinion. Uh, anyways guys I think we are pretty much done we're just gonna add a few minor details now and uh, we're gonna be finished with the house okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some gravel now uh, you guys probably don't have this on your resource pack but uh, I do have it and what I'm talking about is this little small detail uh, which as you guys can see we have some gravel showing up right out of side of the block and uh, we also have this front entrance but uh, let's let me show you guys how I do this uh, trick it's a resource pack trick but uh, so first what we do is we we're just gonna place some gravel this is going to be the front entrance of the house so this is going to be extended a little bit more but anyways after that we are gonna place gravel on the uh, dirt blocks so we're gonna break the dirt blocks which are the under the slabs and we're gonna place gravel on those and uh, this is a resource pack that I'm using that does this trick for me uh, it's called the better vanilla building version 2.41 resource pack it's a very simple resource pack it's technically the default resource pack but it just has a few additions added to it for example this one and it just makes the buildings look or the blocks i mean look a little bit better in any kind of shape so first of all we're gonna dig all the grass all around this and then even under the planks and the stone blocks or slabs and then we're gonna place gravel all around it so we can have that small little outline under the block so let's break these dirt blocks as well just like this and not break that we're gonna add gravel now and after we add gravel we're then gonna place uh, grass blocks right here where we did this little tunnel and uh, we are gonna cover up a very uh we're gonna cover up, cover up the whole entire area and uh, as you guys can see we get this small outline of gravel over here which in my opinion looks very good it's a really small detail but it looks very good uh you i don't think you can do this unless you have like a full block of gravel right here but uh if you have this resource pack you definitely can do it if you don't have it then uh, go download it it's a very good resource pack uh, it's technically the default resource pack but uh, it's a very good one in my opinion you need, i believe you need to have optify to install this resource pack but if you don't have it it's not a problem it looks good in any way shape or form anyways now let's get some lanterns and uh, we're gonna outline some uh, windows right here so how we're gonna start off is we're just gonna break a couple of blocks just like this as you can see uh, we have four windows which are one block wide or four blocks that we dig uh, we can place lanterns like this but i do not really like this design so what i would suggest you guys doing is either placing a block here at the top as you can see it kind of looks bad or you could place a trap door uh, let me find myself a trap door let's say a burst trap door and you can uh, for example place the lantern right there the burst trap door will not be seen 
and uh, yeah it will look very good I am not gonna use a burst trapdoor I'm going to use the barrier block which can be uh, only given uh, to me through the resource pack uh, or through the Minecraft commands if you don't know how to get it you just need to write uh, this command uh, slash give your Minecraft name uh, then space Minecraft barrier and you get the barrier block just like this now the barrier block it's an invisible block if you don't know uh, what it means so as you guys can see I can place the barrier block right above that and place the lantern on the barrier block and uh, now after we place this last lantern oops I dug the wrong block over there now let's place another barrier just like this place the lantern and now uh, those barrier blocks as you can see get removed we're gonna have this space over here which we can't really cover up as you can see even on that house I have the space at the top I don't think it's really anything uh, to worry about if you're in creative if you're in survival then you can do it with trapdoors just like I said but uh, it's a very small detail which makes the house look a lot of better as you can see those slides you can add those slides even down here at the bottom if you really want to uh, like let's say let's break this block for example let's add trapdoor right here at the top and then let's add the lantern right here in the middle as you can see we have this trapdoor uh, which looks kind of bad can you do it with carpet though let me check it out so you're gonna have to have a carpet block first of all place right here because you cannot place the lantern and the carpet on the carpet block because the carpet block doesn't float so you can do it with trap doors but not with carpet blocks or carpet wool carpet but uh, anyways I think uh, we're gonna add a few more here on the back like uh, let's say by three blocks wide I guess we can add a total of four windows or five or not windows but uh, lights and uh, we can place blocks as well if you really want if uh, you really want to do these uh, lights you can place blocks at the top just like this and then add lanterns if you don't want to use trapdoors and now we have this small little light area right here so i want to do a tree as well over here an indoor an indoor tree and we're gonna use spruce fence or oak fence whatever fence you want and we're gonna also use some oak leaves and we're gonna build a very small custom tree right here it's a very simple simple design and uh I believe anybody can build one of these trees because because it's very very simple you want to add uh, some more spruce plank or spruce uh, fences all around just like this and uh, it makes the tree look a little bit more interesting I guess by just placing some random leaves just like this as you can see it's a very small area to build a tree but a tree like that will work I believe now you can grab some bone meal and uh, some saplings and uh, we can uh, bone meal this whole entire area I don't know where my bone meal went so let me grab it again and you can place bone meal all around it you can add some pathways or do whatever you want for the exterior design I am not really interior or exterior wise uh, good at anything I could do some interior or exterior but uh, I won't as you can see I'm leaving it very simple just some uh, leaves and some grass all around the house you can also add some trees and the trees will eventually grow or you can bone meal them anyways uh, it's nothing really special here in the exterior design you can as I said add whatever you want to it I'm not going to add anything else because I don't feel like adding anything else as you can see that house and in the one over there because it's the same house I added only some grass and some trees uh, but yeah this is it uh, for the facade of the house this is the modern house we did some little exterior design over here 
this is the front entrance now here on the interior we have a lot of bats because it's very dark so let's just place some lanterns uh, all around here so we can have some light and as you can see it's a very spacious house it's not very big on the inside the first floor definitely is but the second floor is very small but uh, you guys can add some details or do whatever you want in the interior and in this uh, house as you can see I did some simple interior I just added a floor right here and even on this side and then it went a level down over here you guys can do whatever you guys want here is the roof by the way with slabs as I was saying earlier here we did gray concrete here we did full blocks uh, and then here's the second floor the small balcony area and then very simple stuff and then a very simple staircase but uh, I won't do that on this house I will leave you guys to do whatever you want with this trees have started to grow uh, anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial I believe it will be split into two parts because it was very long but uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching leave a like subscribe for more videos subscribe for more tutorials and uh, we will be doing more uh, tutorials in the future with modern houses, uh, traditional houses, suburban houses, any kind of house or project. We will be doing that in the future. But anyways, guys, if you want to see that, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment. And uh, it will for sure happen in the future. We will be doing a lot more tutorials on how to build houses and other projects on minecraft but anyways thank you so much for watching this video and uh, i will see you guys in the next video